Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and watching today's weekly vlog. I'm starting the video currently like a few days after I started this video. I basically was planning on filming my everyday makeup and like everything else in one video and then I edited my everyday makeup and it was like 30 minutes long. So that is a separate video that I uploaded on Friday and this is going to be my weekly vlog and a little H&M haul and bits like that. So I thought I would kickstart the video here. Also before I quickly show you the H&M haul and get into the vlog, I just thought I would mention one or well, two of the pieces that I forgot to mention in the H&M haul was these really gorgeous like yellow tracksuit bottoms. I have them in a pink and charcoal and I just love them. They're so, so comfortable. A really nice little spring color and then this little yellow bucket hat, which I just thought like together was the cutest combo. And moving into the spring months, I love like pops of color in my wardrobe. So I thought these pieces would be really, really lovely for that as well. But they were just two of the pieces I completely forgot to mention in the next few clips. But I will see you guys in like midway through this vlog and to carry on with what I'm getting up to this week. Also just quickly I realise I'm in like full glam I should mention. I just filmed a little Valentine's Day reel for my Instagram which is uploaded at the moment so if you do fancy seeing what I use to create this makeup look then that is over there but let's go straight into the vlog. Hello lovelies, so I am ready, it's been a couple of hours, I've been like filming, I've been on a rainy beachy walk, been doing all sorts, I'm just very shiny today. I don't really know what I did, I think I used a new like moisturiser and it kind of done something to my skin but anyway <laughs> I thought I would come on and do my H&M order I'm gonna leave like a little bit of space here so that I can add in some photos of the pieces because I feel like that's the best way to like talk through and share with you guys so starting with this blazer which I just love I love like the tapered fit of their blazers and this one's a really nice like slouchy oversized fit blazer but a really nice material I went up a size so I think I'm wearing a size 10 I will write it on the screen or down below just in case but really love the kind of feel of this I think it's like a perfect piece for like the winter months styling with like black roll necks and hoodies and really layering but then for like spring and summer it's definitely going to be a really gorgeous piece to style with like blue denim and like white denim and different bits like that so really love this one and it does actually come with tapered suit trousers that match as like a co-ord but I just at the moment I, I don't really I'm not really wearing like suit trouser pants because I can't so I didn't want to go for something like that but I do love a good co-ord so so I went for, which I'll leave on the screen here, the really gorgeous satin flared trousers, which are very, very similar like material and shape to my cream and black ones that I got back in December. And they're just so comfortable. They've got that really nice like, elasticated waistband and then really nice like subtle pockets. But the material of this is just gorgeous. Like they're really floaty and comfortable on. And I just find with like these kind of pieces, that they just work really nicely for like winter attire when you're styling with like blazers and roll necks and chunky boots or then like moving into spring and summer and having this as like a summer future holiday glam evening look which I really like styling like flared trousers like that for so they were a pair that I'm really happy with like I love the fit and style of them and I thought the colours went really nicely they're like very very similar which obviously you can kind of see here but they're just like slight like the trousers are slightly lighter but I thought that was fine as a little co-ord matchy matchy and then pieces that I can wear separately as well at the same time. And then the next two pieces, first up this white jumper with that like shoulder padding like structure to it which I just love. have a few of them from spring last year and I just love like the shape and style of them and these ones on the app with like a member price for only £12.99 so I was like gonna grab the white one because I don't have a white jumper and I keep wanting to wear white jumpers with so much at the moment and all I have is a white hoodie and I find the hoodie a little bit too bulky so a piece that's like perfect from going like winter into spring and just really nice kind of tailoring down the sleeves and I just love just love anything with a little bit of padding so gorgeous that also comes in a black gray and like tan color as well depending on what kind of colors you guys go for and then lastly like the most premium piece that I went for and just the quality of this is gorgeous this like really nice kind of knitted textured jacket in cream and white I thought this was lovely and something that can be styled again like so many different ways for like winter spring summer and autumn as well like autumn wear like with more browns and like jeans and then for spring and summer with like little shorts and a white shirt or a white tee and then also for like winter styling a lot with like cream roll necks and cream jeans or just going 
going for like a full like black logo tee and black comfy jeans or blue jeans and that kind of thing as well but I just really love the material of this I just think it's gorgeous I did size up in this jacket into a medium as well so for reference here I'm five foot three and I always have to think about that because I've said for so long that I'm five foot two but I am five foot three so I'm five foot three and I'm wearing a size medium so I just sized up because I wanted to be able to style it with like hoodies and knits eventually when it gets to like autumn winter again just to make sure that I can have it as like a seasonal piece in my wardrobe too. But yeah that is it for the haul. I guess it's kind of like a little mini one that I wanted to share with you guys but I will take you along with me tomorrow and over the weekend. I feel like there's more that goes on in my life over the weekend because I spend all week here alone and then I go and see Jay on the weekends because he works and I work so it just works out better that my support bubble kind of <laughs> comes into play on the weekends when I need a bit of company so I will show you when I head over there Winnie is so big now and I miss her so much the fact that I only get to see her like once or twice a week which is obviously amazing still but yeah I miss watching her grow because every week she's just getting bigger and bigger so wait till you guys see her because she's just so big now and just so lovely so yeah and she can go for walks like properly which is just so exciting she meets all the other dogs and she's really cute but yeah anyway I will show you when I'm with Jay and over the weekend and what I get up to and yeah see you in a minute. Good morning guys it's Sunday the something I don't know what the day is I've just got ready in this little blue knit from Dancing Leopard and these trousers I'm actually just going to leave a picture on the screen here of my outfit today because it's kind of hard to show you. Me and Jay are just about to go and get our morning coffee and it is just slightly started to snow. I'm very very excited. <laughs> Jay's not so excited. <laughs> You excited? Yeah. Excited. And we got. Oh my god, it's like proper. We need to get outside. Is it real snow now? It is real snow now. No, it's just little flakes. Oh my god, it's so exciting. Anyway, we're going to go for a little coffee walk in the snow and go down to the beach and I'm just so excited and we also with where we go we go to a place called 17 grams you get your little card and we have a free coffee today so one free coffee which is great so that's the plan you excited yeah what are you looking at is it not looking too great you gotta get wrapped up there's a storm brewing <laughs> you're not gonna be able to see it until I go outside so I'll go out and then I'll show you guys oh yeah um, you know that is a bit it's not that exciting at the moment. Okay, well it might get exciting on our walk. We need our vitamins. Oh, Jay's obsessed with these multivitamins from, what are they? Ba Barrett's? Bassets. Bassets. Can I have one please? Um, they're like little uh, strawberry gummies, although I have my hair gummies, which are the black currant ones that I take anyway, so, but they're quite nice. Um, oh, I just brushed my teeth though. That was a bad move. I know. Anyway, I'm gonna go on our walk. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Guys, it's kind of snowing. Well, it is snowing, but Jay says it's rain. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. Can you see it? Definitely not. Do you not think they can? No, it's not big enough. Oh, well, when Maybe it, it'll get more. Apparently, um, outside of Brighton, it's been snowing for about an hour, but it hasn't settled, but it's like quite thick. So maybe, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go get coffee now. I'm wrapped up in my Arizona scarf. I think that's how you say the name of the brand. Maybe I'm pronouncing them wrong, but they're my faves. And I'm wrapped up in like a little snowman <laughs> outfit or marshmallow, as Jamie calls it. Yeah, a flump. A flump, which apparently is a marshmallow. Yeah, they were great. I used to have flumps before school. A flump? What is that? An actual packet yeah, of like, marshmallows? Yeah, like 30p long marshmallows. Oh, lovely. And a sweet shop on the way to school. Never had them. Flop. I used to always get the fizzy, um, the flat fizzy tongues. What about the Vimto rolls? Yeah, Vimto rolls, flat fizzy tongues, and then a Freddo for like 20p. God, generous. that makes me sound old. <laughs> anyway, oh, it's windy. I'll see you guys in a bit. Got a morning coffee, Charles. Cheers. <laughs> always do a morning cheers. It actually is making me feel quite sleepy. I'm the warm coffee and the cold air and the snow <laughs> and the wind. Jamie was like, it's making me feel all fuzzy inside. <laughs> I meant to tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> We're just currently walking and deciding what um, movie series to like watch over the next weekends because 
me and Jay really struggle to agree on movies and I don't like No, it. no, no, you, you always deny them and then when I put them on you get massively invested. Yeah, but and I you don't. Love them. Okay. You, don't, you, you hate to tell me that you love them. Okay, there is part of that is true. Yeah. But I also don't like horrors or anything with like yeah, any but I kind never of. Put them on. No, he doesn't, but he does threaten to. Anyway, <laughs> we last <laughs> night, <laughs> last weekend, and this weekend we finished the Maze Runner tri trilogy. You love trilogy. That. You, I was and so that was good. Scary. That, that was, was scary. For you, anyway. The second one was scary for me, <laughs> but it was so good. What was the second one called? Scorch Trials. <laughs> Death Cure. Miles. I do actually recommend everyone if you want like a free movie thing and you know when you get to the third movie you're usually like this has been dragged out for too long it actually wasn't like it was quite good yeah you loved it it was great so we were trying to decide I wanted to watch Divergent because no, I yeah. love it but Jay it's doesn't it's the same like we can't watch the same again yeah but mm. if you've read the books of the maze runner it's they're, very they're different. different yeah so very different I actually movie. googled after the movie last night who dies in the last one and it came up with the books of how they die like how Don't do they die anything. I'm not gonna say anything but it was the book deaths which were different to what we just saw so anyway we were just discussing I think we're gonna do Monsters Inc but we're gonna start on the university and work our way back <laughs> And that's the plan. But yeah, currently on our walk, currently drinking coffee. I could talk forever to you guys, but I know then this video would be an hour long and no one wants that. No one wants an hour long video. No, no one does. <laughs> so I will show you guys when we get down to the sea and see if this snow settles, I guess. Just bounce. Just bounce. <laughs> So guys, we've been walking for about an hour and a half and it's so cold. Jay took a picture of me, which was really lovely, which I'll leave on the screen here. But I think it also froze off his hands during the shoot and my hands as well. Like I can't, I can't feel anything. How are your hands doing now? Horrible. <laughs> All worth it, right? Photographer, oh. boyfriend oh, yeah. of Instagram. Um, my hands feel like they did when I was on Brooklyn Bridge at 4 a.m and I couldn't warm up like I actually can't <laughs> can't vent but anyway it's quite cold but it is beautiful and it's still kind of snowing but I don't think it's gonna s set sorry huh I guess it doesn't shut oh we're just at the docks um and Jamie was just checking if they shut at any point but turns out they don't I mean it's a public footpath I didn't think they would um but yeah we're gonna go head back now and get warm probably have some lunch do some work and chill out Winnie what do you think of the snow <laughs> Hello. Hey, oh, good girl. Good girl. That is so good walking. Good hill. Good hill. So the last thing you saw was snowy walks of Winnie and it's now Monday and I'm currently just filming and getting ready and taking some snaps for work but I thought I would show you how I make my strawberry matcha. I've just filmed it for a little like Instagram reel so I thought I would leave it on the screen here and show you what I've been up to this morning because I've literally just been filming this. Basically I use around two tablespoons of matcha powder in like a little bowl. Uh, I don't use an electric whisk, I just use like a 
a wooden whisk and then I pour a little bit of hot water in, put some honey in and whisk that all together till it's quite like foamy. And then I put strawberry milk and ice in my mug and then I pour in the matcha once it's like all kind of frothed up and a bit more creamy, like the consistency. And then there you go. You have a matcha honey strawberry drink and it is so good. If you like strawberry milk, it's delicious. But just a really cute little like spring drink that I've been having lately and just like mixing up my matcha by trying like different ways to make it. If you want to see like the more in depth way I make a matcha then I have them over on my reels on Instagram and also in a previous YouTube video as well but just thought I'd show you what I've been up to. I'm gonna go grab lunch now and then I'm gonna do some mirror ways to wear so I'll also show you some of those outfits because there's an outfit that I'm so excited to share with you all. It's like this amazing green dancing leopard cardigan so I will show you that in two seconds. So lovely is this is this amazing cardigan from Dancing Leopard I wanted to share with you all. I mean, what a dream and it's like super fluffy. Look at the fluff. It's literally absolutely stunning. You can have it buttoned up like a dress or you can have it unbuttoned like I've done here, but I'm about to shoot some like ways to style this like 10 ways. So that will be over my Instagram by the time this video it's gone live for sure i need to actually cut the label off but i'm just obsessed and then this is my new arizina little crossbody bag in pink i have this in the nude and the black and i literally wear it on repeat so i thought having like a nice spring summer color would be a really nice addition to my wardrobe Hello my lovelies, so I just finished filming, I actually did a te 10, 8 ways to wear that cardigan that I shared, so I'll leave a few of them on the screen here while I'm talking, but I absolutely adore that cardigan, it's gorgeous, and then I just filmed a little drink video, um, like another one for a Starbucks drink, so that will be on my Instagram, and then I, yeah, I'm just all wrapped up now, ready for my beachy walk, I'm listening to a podcast, I'm listening to Chessie King and Matt Carter's new podcast, Never Have we ever i think it is um but they speak all things like pregnancy and it's just really funny so i'm gonna go listen to that walk down for sunset and then come back and make dinner and snuggle up but i am in so many layers so i need to get outside before i start sweating inside and i'll show you when i get down to the beach I just had dinner and I'm just about to get ready to get into bed and edit but I've got to do my hair wash night tonight because it's been about four or five days and I don't know if I can like wait any longer I mean it's not doing too bad it's a little bit greasy but overall it's doing a lot better than it used to because it used to be like every other day it used to need a wash because it was just like get so greasy and oily so I'm glad I'm kind of keeping on top of that I think that's one of the perks <laughs> of lockdown is that I can train my hair to be like every four days but although I'm going to be doing a video mainly focused on hair and like my routine and what I use. I thought I'd just quickly touch on the Olaplex number three that I use. So this is like a serum, I wanna say like a mask bond builder for your hair and you can get this in salons and I've had the Olaplex like treatment done in salons when I've gone to headmasters in the past and this basically works best with the shampoo and conditioner which I have currently on the way because I recently ran out of it but the number three I've been using for about nine months and I use this personally on damp hair before I get in the shower on hair wash night for about 30 to 45 minutes you can sleep in this so like on the days where I feel like my hair really needs like a bit of a zhuzh I will sleep in this overnight and then wake up in the morning and wash it out and your hair just feels like a dream but also just using it like I just said like the 30 45 minutes is absolutely fine as well and it just really really helps the hair i can't remember like i'm going to include this in my 
like hair video more detail about how it works because off the top of my head there's like lots of terminology and I don't want to get it wrong but I just thought I would mention like how I use it and then I've also been using the Olaplex number no. six bond soother which is a leave-in like styling serum for when you come out and you have damp hair I just do like the mid lengths and the ends of my hair and then I just blow dry my hair like slightly before I go to sleep I don't fully blow dry my hair before I go to sleep mainly because I don't want to use too much heat but also because if I don't blow dry it a little bit then I end up having like huge like bumps and cow's licks going on because I've slept on it funny so <laughs> that's currently why I use that as well on my damp hair which is I mean this has lasted me so long you only need like a pea size amount and this I mean I go through it so quickly but I am going to also just quickly remove my makeup with you guys so just before I put in the Olaplex which I won't do on camera today just because I'm going to include that in another video, but I'm using the Espar Optimal Skin Pro Cleanser Multi-Use Enzyme Cleanser Exfoliate and Mask, and I've been using this for probably a year and a half now, and it is amazing. It is just so nice on the skin. I've shared this in like my past videos when I've done like skincare routine, and I'm going to do an updated morning and evening skincare routine next week in like one video. But this is just too good not to share again with you all in this video. It's like a really nice kind of gel kind of serum-y texture. But it just removes makeup really, really nicely. And leaves the skin feeling like really radiant and glowy. But also really soft, which I really like. Because I've got quite sensitive skin. So I struggled to kind of find the right cleansers to take off makeup. But this one is just so good so i will check back in after my shower with you all and sign off and show you my skin once this is off but i just thought i would quickly kind of show you how it applies and takes off the makeup but it's just such a dream so yeah i will check in just after my shower and say goodbye to you guys as well so lovelies, that is me done. My skin afterwards, I haven't put anything on just so you can kind of see just using this, the Optimal Pro Skin Cleanser. It's just so nice and leaves my skin just really soft and glowy and it's great if you have sensitive skin. So really recommend if you're looking for a little cleanser to try that out. And then I'm gonna blow dry my hair now, get into bed and do some editing. And that's currently what I'm doing most evenings. I'm watching the OC, but I hope you're all well and you've all enjoyed this week's vlog. I'm going to start vlogging again probably in the next two days and just share what I get up to. But yeah, I will see you in the next video. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your week or day whenever you're watching this and I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love guys. Mwah. Bye.